in the previous video i explained the concept of short circuit and in this video we are going to solve some short circuit examples but before we do that i would like to explain a few circuit terminologies what then is a path a node or a branch now a path refers to a connection where we have current flowing now let's consider this circuit here and we have a voltage source v with resistors connected in the circuit now the voltage source is going to drive current through the circuit now we have the current moving or flowing from the positive terminal and then through the resistor r1 approaching the point b or the junction b now at point b or junction b we have the current dividing so that we have um, part of the current flowing through r3 and then the rest flowing through r2 now the connection where we have current flowing through refers to the path so as current flows through the resistor r1 between these two points we have a path because we have current flowing through them now what is a node a node refers to a point where current split or divide now as the current approach junction b the current divide and then we have um, current flowing through r2 and then current flowing through r3 now at this point where we have the current dividing or where we have the current adding up refers to the node now let's talk about a branch a branch refers to a connection or a path between two nodes now we've been able to establish the fact that a node is a point where we have current dividing or current adding up now the connection between any two nodes refers to the branch in the previous lecture we explained the concept of short circuit and we got to understand that a short circuit referred to an electrical circuit that allowed current to travel along an unintended path with no or very little electrical resistance. Now, considering this circuit, the voltage source is going to drive current through the entire circuit. Now, the current flows from the positive terminal of the voltage source through the resistor R1 to approach node B. Now, at node B, we have the current dividing and we have part of the current flowing through R2 and then the other part also flowing through R3. Now at node C, we experience that we have a resistor R4 connected to it and we also have a short circuit here. Now ideally, we would expect that the current that approaches junction C will split so that we have part of the current flowing through R4 and then the other part flowing through the unintended part. But such is not the case. Because we have a short circuit here, the short circuit is going to draw all the current that approaches junction C to itself so that we have zero current flowing through R4. Then we can see that R4 is short. Now let's consider an example. In this example, we have a 6 volt voltage source and then we have two resistors connected in the circuit. The voltage source is going to drive current through the circuit and the current is going to flow from the positive terminal of the voltage source through R1 to junction A. At junction A, we have a resistor connected to it and then we also have a short circuit here. Now the short circuit is going to draw all the current that approaches the junction through itself so that we have zero current flowing through R2. Then we can see that R2 is short. Now moving ahead to find the value of I that is flowing through the circuit. We know from Ohm's law that V is equal to IR. Then we can have I to be V divided by R. Now we have I to be 6 divided by 4. So that I will be 1.5 amperes. Now, since we have the current flowing through only R1, the total resistance for the circuit is equal to 4 ohms. Again, let's consider another example. In this example, we have a 5 volt voltage source and then we have 3 resistors connected in the circuit. Now, the voltage source is going to drive current through the circuit. And then at this junction, say A, we have a short circuit here and then we also have 2 series resistors connected to it. Now, the short circuit is going to draw all the current that approaches node A through itself and then back to the negative terminal. So that we have zero current flowing through this path i equals v divided by r now we have our v to be 5 volts and then we have our r to be 2 ohms so we have our 2 here 
then the value of i that is flowing through the circuit is equal to 2.5 amperes now for the value of the total resistance because we have the current flowing through only the 2 ohm resistor then the total resistance for this circuit is equal to 2 ohms